You know what I really need? I need a new sofa table that'll go right there. I'm just going to jump online and see what's available these days. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. That one looks pretty good. And you know what? I don't want three-day shipping or next-day shipping. I want it right now. So go ahead and put my credit card information and hit purchase. Uh, hey, sweet. That was fast. Check it out. Solid wood top. Nice tapered legs with a nice routed detail. I got to say, this turned out pretty sweet. Of course, I didn't actually buy it online. I made it myself, which is a much better way to get furniture. Or, I guess I should really say, it's a much better way to get furniture. Let me show you how I did it. I was already thinking about making a sofa table when I saw these legs on a dining chair at the thrift store, which they were practically giving away. And I thought, I can't even make them for that. So I'll use these and make all the stretchers out of pine. And then, of course, I'll just have to paint it all up to match. And if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to make a solid wood top for a bit of contrast. So that starts by cross-cutting them here at the miter saw. And then moving over to the table saw. There we go. So that I can rip them up just enough that I rip all the rounded edges off of those two by sixes. So when they're joined together, which I'll show you later, it, uh, it ends up looking like a solid piece of wood on the top. Since I don't have a benchtop planer, <clears throat> hint, hint, honey, Christmas is coming. I just used this hand planer and secured it down carefully. And then I just hand planed about a sixteenth of an inch off each side of the board. It took multiple passes to get it really nice and smooth. All the dents and saw marks and stamps from the manufacturer off, but it really does do a nice job of creating a nice, smooth, finished piece of wood. Here's just a little bit of video of me putting the top together. You can't really tell, but I put biscuits after I cut biscuit slots, of course, which you can see on the end of the boards. They're the thinking being that would make it stronger, but it would also help me line all the boards up when I put them together. I'm not sure it did help me with alignment. It still ended up being quite a bit of work to get everything sitting just the way I wanted because these boards had not been planed ahead of time. They weren't perfectly flat, and so it took a bit of persuasion to make that happen. So here I am just showing you the finished off top after it's all been glued up. Uh, I ran my hand planer over it several times. It's got a two by four along the front also, which has been hand planed on all sides. It turned out really nice and smooth. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So the next step is staining. <laughs> 